Hi, this is Trish Thomas Mink again with another cold case that has been solved due to the wonderful world of genetic genealogy. It's the most innovative forensic tool that has been helping to solve decades old cold cases. According to the definition that I looked at, genetic genealogy is utilizing DNA tests and DNA profiling. The process analyzes the human genome to prove or at least estimate ancestry and kinship between individuals. Basically, it means they find families with similar or exact DNA. This week, well, actually, it's about two weeks now, um, a 50-year-old cold case was solved with this. Julie Ann Hansen. She was a 15-year-old girl that disappeared in the summer of 1972. She had borrowed her brother's bicycle to go to a baseball game and never returned home. She went missing from Naperville, Illinois. It's um, a suburb of Chicago. Her body was discovered, stabbed, and left in a cornfield. Now, when Julie didn't return home from the ball game, the following morning, her family reported her missing. That same day, her body was discovered in the cornfield. She had been raped and murdered, stabbed over 30 times. And over the years, many detectives have worked on this case. There have been many potential suspects, but nothing ever panned out. In the 50 years since her murder, the police never gave up on Julie. A year after her murder, another girl named Roberta Bobby, Roberta Jean Anderson, was 16 years old and she went missing. She lived in a nearby suburb, another called Oswego, it's another suburb of Chicago. Her body was discovered in an abandoned farm and she had also been stabbed many times. A suspect by the name of Major Morris was convicted 20 years later. In jail, Morris confessed to another inmate that he'd also murdered an 18-year-old girl named Margaret Stern, yet another Chicago suburb resident. He was convicted and sentenced. Many thought that he was Julie's killer, but the detectives did not and kept working on the cold case throughout the years. Then there was a break in the case. The police said that genetic genealogy had connected a Mr. Barry Wepley, a retired welder who was 27 at the time, to the crime. Many labs over the years had cross-checked the DNA with records on Ancestry and other databases. Now, Barry Lee Wepley, he's 76 now, was found living in Minnesota, but in 1972, he lived less than a mile away from the Hansen family. Genetic genealogy helped solve the case of the Golden Gate Killer, Joseph James D'Angelo in California. D'Angelo was a former police officer and is responsible for over 50 rapes and 13 murders in the 1970s and 1980s. He was sentenced to multiple life sentences. At this point, Julianne Hansen's parents have passed away, but other family members wrote out a statement thanking the detectives for the continuous work on Julie's case. Wepley has been extradited from Minnesota, has appeared before the court, and entered a plea of not guilty. That's it for now. There'll be more shortly. Thank you so much for listening. And hit that subscribe button for this and other stories of the 20th century.